Chris Bukowski of Emerging Civil War. I'm on my way to Fort Blakely, just uh, north of Spanish Fort, uh, Alabama, just outside of Mobile. And I passed by the sign, it was General Canby Boulevard. And I thought, oh, how cute. And I had to stop because nobody ever names anything after General Canby. A competent but not spectacular officer in the Civil War, graduate of the West Point class of uh, 1839. Serves out west where he's best known for his uh, work securing the uh, far west for the Union Army. A lot of times you pardon me. Uh, he loses the Battle of Valverde in February of 62, but then turns on and wins the beginning of March at Glorieta Pass, uh, driving his former uh, assistant Sibley out of the uh, New Mexico territory and securing it. He gets some administrative posts. He's in charge of New York Harbor after the draft riots in 63. Bebops around. Uh, out of the west again, Mississippi, Arkansas, finally finds himself here in Alabama, uh, where he's stationed in Spanish Fort as part of the forces trying to get the uh, uh, city of Mobile to surrender. He'll take part in the Battle of Fort Blakely at the beginning of April of 65, even as Wilmer McLean is hosting Robert E. Lee and Ulysses S. Grant in his parlor. Um, Canby is helping with the, uh, the capitulation of Fort Blakely, which then eventually leads, just a few days later, to the surrender of Mobile. At the beginning of May of 1865, Canby will accept the surrender of Richard Taylor to go to Mobile in Citronelle. And later in May, he'll accept the surrender of all of uh, William Kirby Smithdom and uh, all of Confederate forces west of Mississippi. Uh, so, uh, he'll eventually uh, go on to a bunch of different administrative posts. Grant thinks that he's okay as a general, not very aggressive, but he's brilliant as uh, an administrator in Army history, Constitution stuff, so he's valuable there. Um, and then eight years and two days after his success here at Fort Blakely, he'll actually be murdered in California while he's trying to negotiate a treaty with the Modoc Indians who will not leave their territory in California uh, can be sent out there to negotiate and he is murdered in cold blood. And that brings an end to Canby's career. So I just want to stop. Canby never gets any love, never any uh, recognition, uh, but he deserves it, especially since we're here at the site of uh, one of his most famous successes, the Civil War. For Emerging Civil War, I'm Chris Mikowski. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you online and on the battlefield.